I'm back in my old spot today. I thought I'd mix it back up and come down here again. I don't know why I always explain why I'm, why I'm sat where I'm sat. Nobody cares where I'm sat, right? <laughs> anyway, I thought I would film a January favourite. It has been absolutely ages since I filmed a favourites video. Kind of intentionally because I felt like when I filmed them a lot of the time I'd like try to make things my favourites because I wanted a favourites video. So I kind of stopped filming them because I thought I didn't know how helpful they actually are and how entertaining they are. However this month I found myself enjoying a lot of stuff and I just wanted to share all of those things so I thought I would do that in this video. Right, I will try to do it in some sort of an order but I have a huge mix of stuff from clothes to activities to books to beauty so I guess I'm just going to, yeah I'll try to keep it in order but we might go out of order, I don't know. Right, let's start with the books. So the first book I have is this one. This is An Edited Life by Anna Newton. I decided to read this at the start of the year because I thought it would be a good start of the year book to kind of get me feeling organised for the year and I'm really glad I made that choice to actually wait. I brought it last January and I waited until the start of the year. I didn't have high expectations, I'm not going to lie. Not that I expected it to be bad but also YouTuber books are often quite repetitive of what you see on their YouTube channels or their blogs or whatever. But this had I think a lot of new content that Anna has not shared elsewhere. And it was really helpful. I've done a lot of things the book's advised and it's actually made my life a lot easier. I've reorganised my desk, had the book advised and I found myself kind of marking pages and going through things. It really put me in the mood to organise every part of my life and to kind of look at how I can make life more enjoyable by being just on top of things. I really like Anna's style of writing, I always have done. Her blogs is one of my favourite because I find her tone of voice so relatable and interesting and funny. It's really helpful, really interesting. Uh, there are quite a lot of different things, I'll do some cutaways, but there are like some graphs in there. It's not just pure text, there's a lot of helpful tools to help you. I think putting the some of the advice into action is making my life a lot better. And yeah, I really enjoyed it as well and it put me in the mood to edit my life. Really, really enjoyed that. It definitely exceeded expectations. The next book I have, I'm currently reading at the moment. This is The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. I wasn't sure if to put this in, but I'm really enjoying it. So it's gone in. I'm about halfway through. Uh, you know, sometimes you just want a classic Nicholas Sparks tear jerking romance type story. That's what I fancied. I found it at a charity shop a while ago, and I just kind of fancied reading a bit of a tear jerker, a bit of a romance and everyone knows that that's Nicholas Sparks's thing. I'm not that far, well about halfway through but really enjoying it. And actually while I'm here I will also show you this which also made has made the favourites but it's already a bit ruined. So for Christmas my friend Stacy, who works for a brand called Quiet Connections which is about helping introverts kind of reframe quiet and not see it as a negative thing. And I've written an uh, article on their website before and I will do more as well because I really like their brand. Uh, but my friend Stacey who works with them sent me this as a bookmark and on it it has, is ruined where I dropped it in the bath, which I'm gutted about. On it it has a quote from an article I wrote which is really cool. So it says, quiet and powerful can coexist for in this moment I am both. And yeah, I just thought it was really cool that lost my page in the book doing that. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Why did I close the book back up? <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that's really cool and I've really been enjoying news and that and it made me feel kind of proud of my own writing and really happy. Just gutted I dropped it in the bath so it's a bit battered but these things are for using I guess. The third book I don't have to hand as it is at my boyfriend's house uh, because I have been reading it there. We have been reading it together so we take it in turns to read a chapter aloud together to help us both improve kind of confidence in reading aloud and also we get to read a book together. It's 
really nice thing to do actually if you're in a relationship or even with friends I'd recommend it but the book I have been reading with him is Normal People by Sally Rooney now I know everyone else in the world has read it but I was late to the party probably about halfway through on that too and also really really enjoying it as part of my Chloe Harriet's 2020 book club so I will be reviewing it on my blog at the end of the month so keep eyes peeled for the review some more books but these are journals rather than book books so we have this one my friend Gina got me this for my birthday it's a 2020 diary which is great because I need a diary and it's a page a day I'll show you an empty one it's a page a day and it's a question on each page as well so you can kind of reflect on your day so what I've been enjoying doing is at the end of each evening I go in the diary I reflect on my day answer the question so should we look at what today's question is What's today today so today's question is what fear would you like to conquer and tomorrow's question is which practical skill do you wish you had so yeah I go in and answer the question and then I also use this book to write my to-do list so I'll write my to-do list for the next day then after and so it gives me some reflection time and some organization time at the same time also it's pink it's beautiful looking it's small to fit in my handbag I just really enjoy it so yeah thanks for that Gina. The next journal I have is this one. This is a law of attraction journal from the happiness planner. My boyfriend got me this for my birthday as well actually. See, I've only filled out one page so far because I've not really had a chance but I had a little flick through and I filled out that page and it just made me feel so good and it just gives you journaling prompts to help kind of manifest things and to put you in a positive mindset. And it's just really great so the one I filled out I had to write down positive affirmations and then the next one will be uh who do I want to attract into my life and um, yeah there's pretty quotes on the pages this one says it's in my experience that you can only always enjoy things if you make up your mind firmly that you will so it's beautiful useful and perfect and positive mindset and I can't wait to film more of it out I believe that is the books all done so now we will move on to beauty I've not got much if you watch my channel or maybe have heard me speak on social media you know that I've had a really bad fear of X maybe you might be able to see still some redness on my face so um, makeup's been out of the question a lot of the month which has been a bit sad but occasionally I've been putting a little bit on just to make myself feel better so I just have two things which I would like to uh, mention First is this, this is the Glossier Lid Star in Cub. I'll put a little swatch on to show you. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the formula of this, but I've just been enjoying whipping it on my lids. It just makes a really natural kind of shiny lid. It's got kind of a brownish pink tone to it. It's got some shimmer to it, but it's not too much and it's easy to use and it's just a quick whip it on. So yeah, I've just been enjoying that. And then the next thing I got is this. I got this for Christmas from my sister and this is the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette it comes with these so I've just really been enjoying the shade Ibiza which is the kind of blush and Azores don't know if I said that right which is the kind of golden highlighter and I've just been finding when I use this my complexion just looks so much more healthy so I have really really been enjoying that and then the last beauty thing is this I got this in TK Maxx it's just one of those face rulers, uh, there's a rose quartz one, it's nice and cool. It came in a set with a little mini one as well, so I've got one which I can keep at Pietro's house, which is great. So I've got one at both houses, got a big one on one side, a small one on the other. Feels great, it's a good way to kind of relax me, it makes me feel really good when I do it, and is fits in nicely with skincare, it's a nice, just a little extra step before bed and in the mornings. Right, let's move on to home stuff. All right, so I have these, I'll do these together. Just some little candles. They're sand and fog candles. So this one is ocean and sea salt, and this one is tropical citrus. And both of them smell lovely. And I think I paid £2.50 each for them in TK Maxx, so a fiver for both of them. They both smell great. They actually really, really scent the room. Uh, the re you could tell it's a really good quality candle even though they're small they make a difference the scents work well together as well or separately and they look nice they both match kind of my room <laughs> I have a lot of this kind of pink and this turquoisey blue color around in my bedroom because they're two of my favorite colors so 
yeah, I've really been enjoying those. The next home thing I have is this. My friend Hannah brought me this for Christmas. It's just a little cacti in a little green pot. Um, but you know when you just really enjoy a plant? I've just really been enjoying it. He just sits on my bedside table and yeah, I'm really enjoying this plant. <laughs> and he's got a nice pot as well. Next to my cacti sits this. Now I got this for Christmas. You won't really be able to see it well here, but it's a lava lamp with glitter in it. Uh, so when it's on and it heats up, the glitter moves around the lamp and it looks really pretty. It creates a really pretty effect in the room as well because uh, it creates light that moves and glistens and is a good level of light. It's enough light that I can read my book to it, but it's not super bright. So it's a good light for kind of the evening for going to bed. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It looks really nice. Right, let's move on to clothes and fashion. First thing I'm going to show you is quite a small accessory, and it is these. I will have to do some cutaways so you can actually see, but it is some earrings, which my boyfriend got me slash made me for Christmas. So I will definitely do some cutaways, but it's a little star and a little moon earring, and they're just little dangly circles. I love that they're odd. I really like wearing odd earrings. Uh, it's great they're odd, but they still match. They're great. I really like them. And also they're personalised. So these earrings are 3D printed, so nobody else in the world will have them. So my boyfriend has a 3D printing business called Dimension. I will link it down below. And you can get anything you want custom made. So it's really great for kind of gifts and stuff. So he made me those and they just feel really special because uh, he made them for me. So I really love those. And actually, before I move on to the rest of the fashion -y stuff, I've got another homemade gift which I want to show you. It's this. My sister made me this to go with my Christmas presents and I just think it's really cute. It's just a little hanging heart with my name on it. And it's just really cute. I've just been hanging that up in my bedroom and I'm really liking it. I just, I really enjoy homemade stuff. I think it's so nice when somebody puts their effort into making you something rather than buying you something. It feels so much more thoughtful. I have this skirt. I got it for Christmas. I've got some pictures wearing it so I will insert a picture. I just really like it. It's from New Look. I think it was fairly inexpensive. Uh, it's just got a grey check with some pink running through it. It's kind of fitted, it's actually flattering on my figure, which I don't often find with skirts this shape, so I'm really surprised by it. And it goes with a lot of stuff because it's fairly neutral, it's a good length, it's not too long, not too short. Just really, really enjoying that skirt. I also have this jumper, so it's just block squares, grey, it's wool, it's knitted, it's from Mint Velvet, it's got a little turtleneck. It's really, really soft, really, really good quality. It fits nice, it goes with everything, I really like it. My stepdad got me it for Christmas and I love it, I've been wearing it loads. It's really, really warm and you can tell the quality is great and I love the colours, I love the style. It's perfect. Another hat I've been enjoying wearing is this one. Now this is the one from Mint Velvet but it did initially have a pink pom-pom on the top and the pink pom-pom, I went shopping one day and then I looked in the mirror and the pom-pom was gone and I was like, oh, well I can't wear this hat anymore. And it's really big on my head, so I fold it up twice because I have a really small head. But then I realised, actually, I don't dislike it without the pom-pom. And also, it's the warmest hat I own as well. Uh, it's just really good quality. So I'm really enjoying wearing that again. I have this from m &S, which is a fluffy lounge red jacket. I think I was wearing it in a video recently. It's grey, it's super soft and cosy. And it's that loungewear, which is kind of acceptable to wear out of the house. I am completely in love with it. I'm really bad for spending all of my time in my dressing gown. This kind of gives me another option to make me feel a bit more put together, but still have that comfy factor. So I'm really, really into that. My next favourite are these gloves. Now, I literally popped into Asda and just got these one day before I was getting the train because my hands were cold and I had a wave. And they are the warmest gloves I've ever had. They're just grey. I think they're about £4. They're just super thick and warm. I don't know what else to say, they're really warm gloves and I'm really enjoying them. Right, I think that is all the physical things I have to show you. Now I'm going to move on to the not physical things. <laughs> so first I'll do some things I've been enjoying watching. I have been loving the Vampire Diaries. I know, really really late to the party. I started watching it at the end of last year and it's only now, I think I'm on season four, that I've actually really got into it. And now it's 
the best thing ever. I'm just really enjoying it as TV to watch when I want to kind of escape everything. Also, I've been enjoying on YouTube, the only YouTube channel I've actually watched so far this year is Carrie Rad. I just really love Carrie. Uh, I think she promotes a lot of positivity and watching her videos always makes me feel good and they're always helpful. Now I've just got some activities I've been enjoying as well. Firstly blogging. I relaunched my blog. I've got back into blogging and I am loving blogging more than ever. I'm just so into it at the moment. I've definitely still got some changes to make to my blog. There are definitely things I still want to improve. But definitely back to regular blogging has made me feel really really good and I'm really enjoying the process of writing, of taking pictures, everything about it I'm just really enjoying. The next one is going for a walk. Now this seems really random but lately I've been for quite a few walks with um, friends or my boyfriend and I've just realised how good it makes me feel to be out in, in the fresh air. So on New Year's Day I went for a walk with some friends and my boyfriend and it just set me up for having a really good year and then we've been on a few walks I was having a really bad day I was really upset about my skin and I'm not sure if it shows how bad it is on camera but it's been pretty bad I was upset about my skin I also hadn't been sleeping well so I was feeling really down and me and my boyfriend went on a sunset walk and it was really beautiful and I felt like a completely different person when I came back so definitely I've realized how good that is for my mental health and then the last activity I've got is yoga. I have been doing the 30 day yoga with Adrian challenge and I have not missed a day and I think we're on day 18. So first I'm really proud of myself that I've done this many and I think I will definitely make it to the end now without missing a day so I'm really proud of myself for that. And secondly, I'm enjoying the yoga so much, it's really clearing my mind, it's making me feel so good, it's really putting me in a good headspace. I definitely prefer the workouts which are a bit harder. Some of them are more like a meditation than a workout and some of them really move you. I definitely prefer the ones which really move you, but overall I've enjoyed them all and I've always came away from the mat feeling better than when I went onto the mat. So I've really been loving that. I believe that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do and um, follow me on Instagram to kind of keep up to date with my life. Remember to check out my blog, chloeharris.com if you enjoy written content. Let me know some of your favorites from January in the comments and have a great day. Sending you good vibes. Bye.